In today's video, we're diving into the real-life challenges and choices that come with dating as a single parent. Have you ever faced similar questions or concerns in your journey? We'd love to hear your story, share your experiences with us in the comments, and connect with others who might be going through the same. Let's start the conversation. I always get a kick when the males use single mom as an insult because what do you mean? You mean how I am supporting two kids, a dog and myself on one income in this economy? <laughs> you mean how I still look like this after having two children? You mean how I stay on top of everything? I work a full-time job. I have two side businesses. I maintain a home. I cook most of our meals. Our fridge is always stocked. Our bills are always paid. I always get the girls to their activities. I'm very involved with their school. I maintain my fitness and health. I get enough sleep. I have time for my friends. I have time to travel with my kids and I have time to read. You mean to tell me that I'm doing all of that while you're leaving hate comments on the internet and it's an insult? I get it, you take care of your kids and you've done a lot in life. But for men, that doesn't matter when it comes to choosing a, a woman, a wife. For men, that doesn't matter. The most important thing for men is fit, friendly, submissive. And it's a big, big red flag when you have a kid from another man, especially two kids. Really? Because... I don't know about you, but I am the hottest, healthiest, and wealthiest I've ever been without a man. Let's see how hot she really is without any makeup. If it all goes right, what if you don't? Okay, so here she doesn't have any makeup. Of course, she still has TikTok filters because TikTok filters are enabled by default. But she has no makeup, so you can actually see her age, because she's 32. So really that's an insult to you, isn't it? That <laughs> you're not on my level. You could not do half of what I do every single day, even once. There's no way. So the next time you want to use single mom, single mother, as an insult... Well, it is an insult. Your thinking is not good and you don't know how to spot the red flags because if you did, you wouldn't have children with that guy. You wouldn't be a single mother now. Men can't conceptual. A single mother might argue that having children from a previous relationship shouldn't be seen as a red flag. It's simply part of her life story. What truly raises concerns, some suggest, is the choice to bring a new man into her life despite already having a family to prioritize. When a new partner is expected to embrace her children as his own, it can be challenging, especially when the man perceives that he's valued only for fulfilling certain preferences rather than being genuinely integrated into a family. This situation becomes more complex in today's context, where modern relationships often come with unique expectations and dynamics. Critics argue that some women may seek a new partner not for building a unified family, but for personal reasons or lifestyle preferences, which can create a fragile foundation for any relationship involving children. The question remains, is it fair to ask a man to fully accept and invest in children who are not biologically his, especially if he suspects his role is secondary? In this light, navigating relationships with children from past partners requires honesty and shared intentions to ensure a healthy and respectful environment for all involved. Women that have children are like burdens. I feel like that's what's portrayed to the world in general. You never hear guys like, I'm checking for the woman with kids. You just don't hear that often. You the definition of a burden means a load. I don't think a man would like to carry that load at the cost of losing everything. What exactly is he gaining from taking on that assignment? Hey, okay, question for y'all. What is too much baggage for you to handle when dating someone or in a relationship? Tell me. What's dating like as a single mom? Girl, terrible. Ooh. Terrible? <laughs> talk, talk to me about it. I won't date anyone that doesn't have a little girl. Really? Mm -hmm. You won't date anyone that doesn't have a daughter? No. What, all right, so what's the maximum number of kids that a man can have in order to date you? I don't care. Really? Mm-hmm. Because a parent, a man, a single dad that has multiple kids will understand the struggles of a single mom. Being a single mom and like 
single, single, when I say single, I mean single, and dating, just hear me out. So I've been single for about three years. And when I say that it is so hard dating as a single mom, I really mean like it is so hard because you have to divide your time. Like if you start dating somebody, you have to think about the time, you know, that you're spending with your child and trying to commit to dating at the same time. Um, I will admit it's been really hard for me to even want to date anybody because I don't have time. I take care of my son by myself. And, um, when I'm with him, I'm with him like 110%. So, um, it's just so hard dating as a single mom. Um, and then, like I said before, just in general, dating is just, it's just gone down the drain. Um, people ghost and block and it's just not the same anymore. <sighs> dating is just awful. It's awful. Dating as a single mom presents a unique set of challenges and societal perceptions that can make the experience emotionally and practically complex. Single mothers often encounter a dating landscape that may view them as less desirable due to their parental responsibilities which carries an unfortunate stigma. This judgment can create a sense of burden, making dating feel like a risk that impacts both the mother and her family. One significant hurdle is the perception that single moms come with baggage. Some men may shy away from dating single mothers due to concerns about stepping into a father figure role or navigating the complexities of co-parenting arrangements, especially if the biological father remains involved. The prospect of taking on these responsibilities can create hesitation, leading many to avoid these relationships altogether. Balancing a dating life with parenting responsibilities is another challenge single moms face. Between managing childcare, work, and household duties, finding time to meet new people can feel nearly impossible. This limited availability often makes it difficult to build connections, as potential partners may misunderstand the lack of free time as disinterest. The tight schedule adds a layer of stress, further complicating the dating process. Emotional vulnerability is also a risk for single mothers in the dating world. They may worry that potential partners aren't truly interested in a long-term commitment or might only seek a casual relationship. Past experiences of abandonment or betrayal can heighten this fear, making it challenging to fully trust new partners. For single moms, the stakes are high, not only for their hearts, but also for their children's stability. As a result, dating requires careful navigation to find partners who respect their lives and are genuinely invested in building a future together. About how hard it is to start dating a nice guy after you're only used to dating toxic men. Situationships usually give off this thing called intermittent reinforcement, meaning there's a lot of highs and a lot of lows and you gotta fight for the attention, which makes you think that you like the person way more than you actually do. And when they do show you that attention, it gives you a higher high. So when someone healthy and new comes around that actually shows genuine interest in you and like genuinely wants to be with you, you freak out and you don't know how to act because you're not used to it. When a real genuine connection is consistency, not the highs, highs, the low lows, it's a normal level. So it can seem really unfamiliar and you might find yourself self-sabotaging, picking fights, waiting for the other shoe to drop, needing constant reassurance, but lean into that uncomfortability because you're worth a real genuine connection, not the high highs and the low lows. You're worth a baseline genuine connection. You are and is worth it. Many men approach dating with caution when a woman has children and has taken the step to divorce by her own choice. This choice can spark questions about loyalty and commitment, creating concerns about whether she may bring the same decisiveness into future relationships. For men seeking stability, the thought of entering into a partnership where loyalty might feel uncertain or conditional can be daunting, often pushing them away from dating dynamics involving single mothers. One major concern is the fear that a single mother may not be seeking a partner for a traditional relationship, but rather looking for someone to help support her child or share responsibilities. This perception, whether accurate or not, 
makes some men feel that they may not be valued as genuine partner, but rather as a figures of convenience, there to provide stability or support without an authentic, committed connection. For men who value loyalty and long-term investment, this possibility creates a significant barrier to opening up emotionally and fully investing in the relationship. Additionally, men worry about the complexities of forming a bond not just with the woman, but with her children. This dynamic requires a deep level of dedication and the willingness to step into a sensitive role within the family. For many men, the fear that their relationship could ultimately end as the last one did can deter them from pursuing connections with single mothers. They worry about forming attachments with children who may not be theirs biologically, only for the relationship to dissolve, leaving emotional scars for everyone involved. For those men who desire a loyal, genuine partnership built on mutual love and commitment, these complexities make them think twice. Their ideal partner is someone who seeks companionship and support in a balanced, reciprocal way, rather than viewing the relationship as primarily fulfilling practical or parental needs. Men don't want to date single mothers, or men are always talking about single mothers, this, that, and the third. This is a perfect example as to why. Because, again, you expect this man to come in, be the man of the house, pay all the bills, be romantic, do all that, be a father to a son that he didn't have. That's not my son. But he has no say-so. But he has no say-so in the discipline. He has no say-so in the guidance. He has no say-so in how this house is going to be ran in regards to your son. So how do you expect me to be the man of the house when every time that I try to tell him something – that's right. You bucking the system because you getting emotional because you damn the message. I'm saying you processing it as no, you can't tell my baby nothing. Mm, it's just my baby. Just my baby. Yep. So as a man, how enticing is that of a situation to walk into? That's why men don't want to date single mothers. That's why. All right, y'all. So here's the deal. I'm about to share the uncomfortable truth about dating a single mom. Now, I've seen it all over the internet, and I decided as a single mother, let me just be honest. Let's get into it, family. I'm telling on myself, but it's all good. <laughs> Number one, you will have less availability. Can't be too flexible with the scheduling. It is what it is. Number two, there will be more expectation. When a child is involved, you are dating intentionally, you're going to be looking for more. Because it's not just about you. It's about your babies too. Number three, this goes along with the last one. More picky or pickier. I'm not sure which one is grammatically correct. Number four, more intentional. There will be less games being played. Can't speak in extreme, but I would assume most women that have children are going to be way more intentional. Number five, the potential of more responsibility. If it goes well, you'll be a stepdad. So it does come with more. Number six, the potential of more baggage. Number seven, may be way more mature to the increase of responsibility of caring for a child. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'd love to hear your thoughts and any experiences you'd like to share in the comments below. If you'd like to support the channel, you can find the links in the description. Your support means a lot.